Hello virtual travelers, this is your guide Michaela from the Spirit of Japan Tours and in this video I'm going to take you to another beautiful Zen temple in the ancient Japanese capital Kamakura. This one is called um, Jochiji. I am trying to remember all these names and it is actually a sub-temple to Engakuji another beautiful, amazing old Zen temple that I visited in my previous video. So let's go and explore this one and enjoy. Let's go. In front of us is the first gate to the temple that has an interesting inscription. It says the treasure is right there next to you. Something to ponder on. I love how green everything is and the old stone steps covered with moss that lead to the main gate to the temple. There's something so magical and enchanting in the surroundings. And this is the entrance of the temple. Now let's go and check it out. It's so picturesque. Today my favorite word is beautiful. There is something very special and magical here. You kind of expect a fairy to jump out of this deep green forest. What we are seeing in front of us, this building with the thatched roof, is called Shoin. This was a place where the monks, and even to these days, because this is still um, an active training temple, monks will come and do their study and also have their drawing classes. What an amazing place to do your work. Just look at the garden and how picturesque and beautiful it is. With the deep green of the forest and the old trees, I have a feeling that I am in a magical fairy tale world. This tree, by the way, that I am in front of is considered to be the oldest tree in Kamakura. Just look at the trunk and how thick it is. And right next to it, there is this little statue of a bodhisattva with a young child that reminds me so much of the statues of the Madonna cradling the young Christ. <laughs> hmm. I see that there is a temple kitty over there. Hi kitty! <laughs> it seems it's having a good time there on the top of the temple. Not temple, table, I'm sorry. Just so many temples today. For a place like this, where the grounds are covered with moss and that is surrounded by a thick forest, I think that a day like this, that is overcast and cloudy, rainy, is kind of the perfect day to visit because it simply enhances this sense of mystical and magical that the place has. And some more mystery. This here in front of us are um, statues of Tanuki. This is uh, a raccoon dog, I believe that they're called in uh, in English, 
and in Japanese for for folklore they're bringers of good fortune so this is where we're heading now uh, to the shrine of one of the gods of uh, good fortune Hote who is actually the god of good fortune he is also the protector of uh, children and interestingly of barmen <laughs> so he's also said to be the god of popularity so if you want to be popular and if you're a barman this is the place to go and here he is in this little grotto and he is always uh, portraited with this big belly that people rub for good luck and always laughing so this is the statue of Hote one of the seven gods of good fortune the bringer of good fortune and popularity and if you're a barman he's your guy all right i'm going to rub his big belly for all of us for good luck here is another view of him from this side I hope that you enjoyed our visit to Jochiji today. It is such a magical fairy tale kind of place. I would love to come again. I think that uh, being here in the fall is going to be especially beautiful because then the foliage is going to add to the charm of the place. Today it was just so enchantingly green. I don't know where I am, like if this is Ireland or what, it's really so mossy, so green, so wonderful. I loved it. Until our next tour together, goodbye.